Hi. We are finally doing our trip report. Oh, finally. We've been back for how long? A long time. A long time. End of, or beginning of April. Yes. And it is July 4th. Or June, yeah. <laughs> Two, three months. Happy July 4th, by the way. Um, yeah, we're finally doing our trip report. We took a little break from, from YouTube, so we had to gather our thoughts together. But um, we went from March... 30th? Yep, March 30th to April 6th this year. And we did a ton of new stuff. So it's going to be... We're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about. Hopefully we don't babble on for like three hours. And yeah. cute. Right, like adorable. adorable. Um, I do have Lion King Top pants. Knot. I do have Lion King pants on though, which I can't show you in the thing, but I'll take a picture and stick it in here. Top knot. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I'm being Tinkerbell. Yeah. Mm, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, March 30th to April 6th, we did. We did all four parks. Stayed at Art of Animation. Um, we stayed at Art of Animation. That was new. Yep, that was new. What did you think about Art of Animation? I liked it. It was mm -hmm. really good. It was, it was really uh, nice. I like that it was very themed for Disney mm -hmm. at all the, or all three different, three different lands. Cars, Nemo, Lion King. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Four. 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 Uh -huh. Four. Yep. Um, yeah. So I like that. The, the land, landscape flavors. Yeah. Was good. Really nice. Really nice. The, uh, food court. Good food. It was a lot of space. It was. Yeah. This was the, this is the most. It was a cool lobby. Disney themed Disney resort yeah. that they have. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. And we got pretty much the best room. We did. Possible. Yes. Yes. After we had a little trouble at Pop Century last time with the football teams. But this one we were went up to, we were uh, right behind Ursula mm -hmm. and Little Mermaid. We were on the fourth floor and we were uh, on the side where the lake is in between Art of Animation and Pop Century. Yeah. So we were looking over the lake. And the new gondola system was going across. They were testing that. But we kept, uh, we got to the fourth floor and kept walking down the hall and kept going. And we were the last room. We were All the corner way at the end. room at the end. It was perfect. It was awesome. It Nobody was on the one so, side of us. It was super quiet. Oh, it was great so nice. view. This was fantastic. Yeah, I, this was my favorite resort we've stayed in so far. Yeah. I'm certain uh, that will change because we're going to stay in. Old Key West. Yeah. I mean, the trip, Pop Century but... room itself, because it was redone. That's true. It's pretty nice. That's true. This the... was fun because it was very heavily themed. Mm -hmm. But I these mean, rooms. And the all star music and movies, they were fine rooms too. Mm -hmm. These rooms are the same. So if you stayed in the all star resorts before any refurbs, this room was the same as those. Yeah. We stayed in the Little Mermaid building, which is the only part of Art of Animation that isn't family suites. Um, because yeah. it's much cheaper. The family suites part are not value price. <laughs> they're they're moderate to yeah. deluxe price. But this was... I I'm, would say, you know, as far as resorts, it was... Uh, Theming-wise, it was near the top. Mm -hmm. It's probably better than the other ones. Mm -hmm. I think so. But our experience there was the best. Yes. By far the For best. For sure. Pop Century, in fairness, we probably need to give that another chance sometime. Um, yeah. That was not the resort necessarily. It was the <sighs> groups that were there. Yeah. And it was our stupidity and not... We should have waited. Yeah, yeah. and, we and got a that's impatient. a whole... Oh, yeah, watch the other trip report. That's cut, a cut, whole... Cut. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Anyway, we loved this one. Yeah. We loved this resort. I would go back here for sure. Yeah. For sure I would go back here. So, um, okay. So we did favorite, least favorites. We each wrote down in some categories. And I thought we would do those first before we go through all of the, like, firsts first. that we did. So we're starting with food. Favorite food of the trip? What was your favorite food of the trip? I had uh, a couple different things. Okay. Do I have to pick one? You really probably have to pick one. Um, I would say... It's hard. I guess I pick uh, the chicken guy. Yeah? The chicken guy it's was a little good. Outside of the... Well, it's Disney Springs, but mm -hmm. it was it's really Disney. good. I think mm -hmm. that was probably the best. Mm -hmm. I'll give you my honorable mentions then after your, yours then. Okay. And then my favorite food was the nachos at Pecos Bill. Oh. Both of those also are on our first list, so we'll give a more detailed review of yeah. each place. But I think the nachos at Pecos Bill was my favorite. What was your least favorite? Um, my least favorite was... There was two here, too, but 
probably my least favorite was the sun sunshine seasons it was like what was it pizza and pizza cold pasta and a weird pasta mm -hmm. yeah the mm -hmm. pizza was it was okay it was it was like well you order pizza and that's pretty good mm -hmm. everybody does it seems like oh well, disney pizza is no good but the ordering one is good yeah but i will agree this the one, quick service pizza is a little bit yeah eh, this eh. one was not very good yeah and i like pizza and mm -hmm. any pizza this mm -hmm. one was there wasn't it was hardly anything okay. to talk about yeah yeah it was something edible I, about. I would agree with that yeah the pasta salad was good yeah but my least favorite was the berry cake that we had in the festival building during flower and garden oh you didn't like that no nope. i don't remember it was very it wasn't sweet it was almost like i don't know i didn't i didn't care i guess for i didn't it. mind that or i didn't yeah wasn't that bad. That's my least favorite. What were your honorable mentions? So my honorable mention for um, least favorite was uh, the the flatbread at the Poly. Yeah. You kind of like that, but I wasn't too impressed with that. Well, one. you pizza one. Huh? you had it last year. Or yeah. La that was two better. times ago, and you liked it. This one was I don't know. It wasn't done it wasn't well as or good. Something. Yeah. yeah. I, I liked it, but I hadn't had it before. What was your honorable mention for favorite? For favorite, it would have been. Uh, the fries at uh, Beaches and Cream. Ooh, yeah. They were like, they had gravy fries. Oh, they were so good. The sock out fries. Yeah, sock out. They were so good. They were good. And then the uh, Geyser Point meal. Ooh, yeah. Which was good. Everything we had at Geyser Point was good. Yeah. So there's had, so like, much. like a little uh, appetizer barbecue. Yeah, pulled, um, pulled, 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 pulled barbecue or something. Yeah, brisket. Pulled pork. Pulled barbecue. Yeah, pulled barbecue. Pulled <laughs> it was brisket. brisket. It was barbecue yeah. brisket. Yeah. There's going to be some cutting. And you had a chicken sandwich. I had a chicken sandwich, yeah. And I had a turkey. Turkey, yeah. But that was good. Everything was and really good. The food good. was good, but the, the atmosphere was... Which we will yeah. talk about that yeah. in our... Um, okay, so how about favorite ride? Do you want me to go first on rides? Sure. My favorite ride of this trip, and this is just this trip. This is not our favorite ride ever. Yeah. Favorite ride on this trip was Splash Mountain. Uh. It was the first time we'd ridden it, so yep. again, it'll be in our first, but I, I just loved it. Yeah. It's long, it's, I don't know, I just love it. I never really thought much, I didn't really yeah, care if we'd ridden it before. Three times, or <clears throat> three times before, we never got on it. One time no. it was mm -hmm. closed, because it was during January, and the well, other time it was cold. Well, and then it was, it was cold. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was really, I really I liked, liked it. I liked it too, I yep. loved it too. That was really fun. What was your favorite? Well, I gotta say, this trip, it was probably Everest. Yeah. Since we did another new thing, the after hours at Animal Kingdom. And we rode it ten times. Ten times. So it was so awesome. It kind of stood out. Yeah, that did stand out. Yeah. My least favorite ride on this trip was Peter Pan's flight. Oh yeah. Now it's not the ride itself. Um, I like the ride. I think it's very cute. But we decided to rope drop it at Magic Kingdom because we could see the queue then because we've never seen the queue yeah. for that and the lines are long. And even at rope drop, we got in line. It didn't look like there was anybody there. And it ended up taking 40 minutes. Yeah, still it, took it was too long for the minute and 20 seconds or whatever that the ride is. Yeah. So it, it's kind of a weak least, but that was my least on this trip. Um, my least was not the ride itself again, but the circumstances. It was also the after hours at Animal Kingdom. It was uh, oh, Flight of Passage. Yeah. And it sounds weird. To put so my least weird. Favorite. Yeah. So weird. But it's not because of the ride. It was the time it took, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like the after hours, you, I was expecting it to be a little shorter, but mm -hmm. it took, what did it take? 30 minutes? It maybe? was about 30 minutes. Which, flood of passage, yes, that's yes. short. But in, you in shouldn't realistically have to wait 30 minutes for anything during but an after hours. But the problem is that the after hours, it was totally dead in dinosaur land. Mm hmm. Like everywhere we, else everywhere else we stood at in uh by the primary world we got some of the free treats mm -hmm. and they had a little dance party going there was nobody there there was the djs and nobody was there dancing yeah. it was empty and then we got on dinosaur and we were with two other people in the yep. whole ride and then we then when we pulled up at the end of the ride there was no one waiting so we could have went again mm -hmm. but we were kind of wanting to go over Flight of Passage, I think, we're kinda, at that time. We're kind of telling you about our first here yeah, in the midst sorry. of our favorites. But yeah, no. But yeah, we're, All that leads was up to... just totally dead. Mm -hmm. But then everybody in the after hours was in Pandora. Mm -hmm. which Pandora didn't like, really seem that much different than 
towards the end of a regular day. Yeah. Really. So. I mean, it was less, obviously, it was. a 30 minute wait, but still, it was a little disappointing. We only got it on once. And, mm -hmm. and honestly, I think I would have skipped it if we'd known the, yeah. the ride. And but I, like and Everest, 10 times, we just walked around and yeah. got on and got and on and got on. I love Flight of Passage. It was like a awe-inspiring experience for me last yeah. time. Well, the ride so, is great, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was just like everybody was there for after hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I, I could totally see that. Okay, you go first this time. Favorite new thing? Uh, there were a lot of new things. Yeah, so it was probably, I have two things too again. It was probably the after hours party. That was, uh, for the most part, it was great. It was, mm -hmm. Like I said, hardly anybody in the the whole land except uh, Pandora. Yep. It was kind of, but that was pretty fun. The I think I would want to, it makes me want to do it for the Magic Kingdom. Yes, I do too. For the other I part. do too. Yeah. The after hours party was my favorite too. My favorite yeah. new thing. Mm -hmm. I just noticed you can see adorable little yeah, orange right. bird in there. Yes. Isn't he cute? Um, what was your least favorite new thing? The full slash waiting for the buses. So funny. My least favorite new thing is also buses. Yeah. Just in it, and I was telling him before, it's a love hate thing because when we talk about buses later in our first things, there were some good things. Yeah. But yeah, the the only like worst I could think of of first things we tried were the buses. Some of those some of those rides, I didn't think I was gonna make it back to the resort yeah. as we're hanging on by one finger crammed in. And, and the, the the full buses wasn't as bad if you could get on. It was <laughs> some of the annoying parts were like I think Disney Springs. It was like we waited and it yeah. felt like forever we waiting a for a, just a bus time. to show up when there was mm -hmm. hard, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not a perfect system. No, it's not horrible, but it's not a perfect system. But, yeah, I would agree with that. I was gonna throw in my. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You had honorable mentions. Honorable mention in my new things was mm -hmm. our lift. That's the first yeah, time we ever lifted. Yeah. Good lift experience. Amp. And we'll talk about that too. But, good, yeah, very that good experience. Good. Mm -hmm. I thought very good. Did you have any other honorable mentions? Um, he doesn't follow the rules about favorite, least favorite very well, does he? No, I'm fine. It's because it's hard well, though. It's, it's hard. hard. It is really hard. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead here. So favorite souvenir. My favorite souvenir, he's right there. The orange bird? Yep, it's the orange bird. Since he's right here, I'll pull him out. And if you watched our haul, which I'll link below, you'll have seen him, but. Oh, he's cute. And he came with orange Julius inside it, which I, I love orange Julius, so it was perfect. And I had been hearing about how they were selling out and they were impossible to get, so I didn't really have my heart set on it. In fact, I was kind of in pessimist mode that there's no way I was gonna get one, and then there was a ton of them, so. Yeah. He's by far my favorite. What was your favorite souvenir? It was a tough one again. I bet he has two. I have uh, I, oh, I wrote down okay. four, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I got to let's, let's hear them. Uh, What's your all out favorite? I think it's gonna be the, I wanna pick the essential oils, Ooh. actually, that we got at the mm -hmm. Marketplace Co-op in Disney Springs. Yep. We got the resort signature and then the what was that one green, green clover aloe, I That's think. To, it's Flight of Passage, yeah. um, Soarin', a Yacht Club, all of those but things together. And then if you mix them together, then they they really smell it's a amazing. lot like the resorts. It's and, amazing, yeah. yeah. So I, I, and that brings back, it's the nicest thing to have at home that to bring back a lot of the memories. Yeah. Because you relive it when you I smell agree. that. I agree. And they also had like soaps and lotions and candles for people who don't have yeah. or like essential oils too, but awesome what were your other three my other ones were going to be i wrote down uh put the postcards that we got at the wonder Ooh. land what is it wonder ground wonder ground gallery yeah we bought about 10 mm -hmm. postcards and you can see those in our trip report too and They're we about have 4.99 each i think i think so we had like yep. a 50 dollars gift card yep so we used it on those and then we the plan is to we've got them all in different unique frames mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. We're planning to put them all in kind of a collage on the wall here. Yeah, once that's but, done, I'll, I'll yeah. But throw so that that'll that. be kind of cool. Yeah, I got a yawn. The other one was the other two. I say it were the flower and garden hat that I bought. Oh yep. Which I think I've had in a video. Yep. Also in the trip report, or, yep. or the this is the trip report. This is the trip report. Also in the haul, I will link the yeah. haul below. And then the other one I was liked was the or was new unique was the haunted mansion CD. 
Yeah. It's got all the music from the Haunted Mansion. I've played that on my way to work a few times and been like, oh, I wish I was on the Haunted Mansion. Those were fun. Yeah, those were very fun. We got a lot of good souvenirs on this trip. Um, okay, so the last two, these were hard, um, but I kind of just went with the first thing in my head. So, favorite moment. What was yours? It was a tough one. I also have a couple written down. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really hard to choose. Um, I would probably say Geyser Point. Yeah. Choose. Yeah. That was a. That was a good moment. It was in the early afternoon or early morning. Well, not quite afternoon, right? Yeah. Because it was. It was in like the eleven o'clock hour. So I would it was say. quiet at Geyser Point. Mm -hmm. The weather was nice. It was uh, breezy and kind of. A little cool in the air still mm -hmm. and we sat in a table all kind of by ourselves the food was good it was, it was very relaxing and mm -hmm. yeah it was I about really the perfect uh, dining experience mm -hmm. kind of I would say for us. it was really good my favorite moment was seeing where our room was ah <laughs> that's one of my honorable moments. I was yeah. so so like spoiled in a bad way like just not I, I was kind of dreading seeing our room because of the last experience we had. Yeah. I was almost kind of thinking, let's just get there and get our stuff and get out because this is just where we're going to sleep. And then we just told you how that experience went, yeah. just walking down and noticing the lake and we're at the end and it, oh, it, was, it was perfect. Yeah. It was, that was on my honorable mention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was that your only honorable mention? No, of course not. <laughs> I had uh, sitting in the yacht club. Ooh, yeah. That's always one of my favorites. That's I don't great. know why. It seems like it's always quiet there. I love it. it smells good. Mm -hmm. And normally we keep talking about that, but it's not really our our theme that we would have expected to like. Not at all. Maybe because it's quiet over there and stuff that we like. It's dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think so. And then the other one was uh, uh, being there for the kiss good night. Because yeah, we hadn't stayed for that that's before. That's true. That was so really that was fun cool. too. We had too many good moments on this trip. Yeah. So the final one is favorite, least favorite trip. Now, mm -hmm. real quick, we did a trip in December of 2016. That was our first trip ever. We did two parks. We went for five days. We did two parks. We did some off-property stuff. Yep. Then we did a week-long trip in January of 2018. We did a week-long trip in December of 2018. And then we did this week-long trip in March, April of 2019. Those were all very similar. All the parks, all on property, that kind of stuff. My favorite trip, no, like hands down, was this one. Mm. Because we were so relaxed. Yeah. And it's weird because the weather wasn't the best of them on this one. The crowds weren't the best on this one. All of that was kind of, in fact, was kind of probably the, the worst of all the trips on this one because you know it was a time of year when it's hotter it was spring break ish time or right after so it was really busy but we were super chill on this trip yeah more so than i thought we had been on any of the other ones we canceled plans when they got in our way of we were more experienced so we mm -hmm. can sit yeah it was very very relaxed what was your favorite i picked the january 18 trip okay that was our f first full long Mm -hmm. trip. It was pretty good weather. It was great weather. Um, All Star Music was good. Mm -hmm. I think that was the first time we were at the Yacht and Beach Club. I think so. It was the first time we went to Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom too. It was, yeah. So Yeah, we only did Magic Kingdom and Epcot on the first trip. The first, so I went with that one. Yep, I could see that. My least favorite trip, and again these are Disney trips, so by least it just means I had to pick one that was least, yeah. is our very first trip. And that's only because we, it wasn't full Disney. We spent some time off property. I liked the stuff we did off property. I had done it before. I wanted to show it to him. We went to a, an animal rescue place, lions and tigers and all of that. And we went to the beach in Clearwater and we went to the Florida mall. All of that was fun. I liked it. I'm glad we did it, but it was not a full Disney trip. We just did one day at Magic Kingdom, one day at Epcot, and a little bit of time at Disney Springs. Yeah. So, for that reason. Yeah, I kind of had that too. That's short. Mm -hmm. And the other ones were good. I, I had uh, December 18, one was a runner-up, just because our 
Pop Century stay yeah. wasn't the best. Yeah, that so. would have been my runner-up too, probably. But, mm -hmm. but we did a lot of good things on that trip too. Yeah, we like did. A party, we did. A Christmas party. And yeah. So that's our favorites, least favorites. So now we have a whole bunch of firsts, and I'll just kind of go through the list. We won't take like a ton of time, but we'll just give a little bit of information. We'll just give, give it a thumbs up or not, maybe. Yeah. Um, so the first first of this trip was we flew with Southwest. That was great. M massive thumbs up. Yeah. I couldn't say enough good things about Southwest based on this trip. That was yeah. Everything went great. Mm-hmm. I had I jotted a couple notes. On time. We did the early bird. We paid for the early bird. Yep. Which was one hundred percent pay for that if. Now, granted, I say if you're two people and it makes sense yeah. for you. If you have a family, I get it. But I don't remember how much it was. That was 25. Um, I think it was 25. Each. Each per person per way. So yeah. it was 100 bucks for the whole trip. But it gets you in this priority line and there's no assigned seats with Southwest. So because of that, we were like less than 10 rows back on all of our flights. Yeah. It, w it was perfect. Yeah, it was and then for myself and anybody else who's plus size... The seatbelt extender is always something I freaked out about a little bit. They were on top of it. I asked for it at the front. I got it every time. It was never an issue. Plus, free cha free two bags checked. Yeah, two oh, yeah good. two free check bags per person. Now, if you're doing Magical Express, you can only have one bag per person yeah. for them to pick up. But still, we each got to yeah. check a bag for free, which was amazing. And we got snacks. Snacks, yeah. Free pop and... Yeah cookies and people rich, probably rich think we're so weird that we're excited about this because it's probably normal but we fly spirit before this yeah. so no there's no snacks there's no extra it was just kind of a nice little perk mm -hmm. the only other thing the i was going to say about the seatbelt extenders was with spirit i didn't need them i needed them for comfort with southwest i couldn't have buckled without them mm. so something to keep in mind but the seats seemed but. a little more roomy didn't they Overall, I felt like we had more room in front of us and all of that. I think it was the positioning of the armrests and where the seatbelt was. I think the seatbelts might have been shorter. but yeah. So that was all positive. So it was positive, yeah. It was great. No delays, no everything was just great. Um, oh, and then we also did our first, along with that, we also did our first connecting flight. We'd never done a connecting flight. <laughs> um, on the way, again, which sounds stupid to some people, but for us, we'd never done it before. Mm -hmm. On the way home... flown before our Disney, her Disney trip. January 2016 January was my first flight. So. <laughs> At 38, 9, whatever years old. Anyway, so we did on our way home. Out there was a nonstop. On our way home, we went from Orlando to Midway in Chicago. This is only an hour in between, and yeah. that was And it went fine. as smooth as could possibly go. It was no big deal. Um, so the next first was the Magical Express with the luggage. Nope. <clears throat> I that mean, worked great. Oh, yeah, I Check can't. the bag at the airport. Or two bags at the airport. Yep. We had a, well, we have our backpack. And you had a bag. We had, both had a bag. Um, we both had backpacks. Backpack. Yep. Take it with us. Yep. So we, yeah, take, uh, get to Orlando, get on the Magical Express, which we didn't have to wait. First, we get lost in the airport trying to find the Magical oh, yeah. Express. We went to a <laughs> side A instead of side B or something. Yeah, read those signs carefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, we didn't have to, we, we waited to wait. maybe five minutes. Yeah. We in got line. on the bus at Magical Express. And everybody the, said 45 to 75 minutes. It was less than half an hour. It was half yeah. Our ride. So we might just have gotten lucky and we were the first people dropped off yeah. at Art of Animation, but uh, it was perfect. And then we uh, we knew we couldn't check in for a while, but we only waited. We wa so we ate at the uh, food court there, walked around, saw the cars land and yep. things like that. Yep. And then we decided to go... I think it was what check-in is technically three. Mm -hmm. It was about two o'clock that we got the the text. Yeah, we decided to go sit in the lobby and just kind of wait and see, and yeah. then we got the text. Text. So the room was ready. So mm -hmm. we went to the room. I sat there. We kind of unpacked our little backpacks. Mm -hmm. I was very we anxious like, about the luggage. Yeah. I was unreasonably anxious about <sighs> it because somebody else had my luggage from Minneapolis, and I was trusting that they were going to bring it to our room. So we were just going <laughs> to sit there for a while and chill. And then you were going to take a nap or something. We had laid down and I was thinking about taking a little nap. And it was about four o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. Four o'clock, the someone knocks on the door mm -hmm. and there's our bags. Yep. And they say three hours plus, so at least three hours after you arrive, after your flight lands, um, for them to get to your room. Well, our flight landed 12-ish, 11.30, 12-ish, something like that. And by four o'clock, they were in our room. Yeah. So it was very close was to great. the time that they tell it us. It worked out perfect. Yeah. It was so fantastic. 
Um, and then I, I did put bell services. This was at the end of the trip, but bell services we had never tried before either. On our last day, we decided to go over to the Polynesian and hang out while we were waiting for our Magical Express. And we had, I had like a small bag, but you had a backpack that was jammed full of souvenirs. And we left that with bell services. And again, per smooth, perfect yeah. as can be. They just... Yeah, and that's the other thing with Southwest. They're one of the, what, five airlines or so that you could... We checked our bags right at Art of Animation. Oh, yeah. I forgot to write that down as part of that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we just checked our, our two bags right there Yep. at Art of Animation. The morning we left. And they took them. They took them. It was great. And they the printed our boarding... We saw them, they were dropping off at MSP. Yeah. They printed our boarding passes for us. Yep. It was fantastic. So yeah. Was, yeah. It was. It couldn't have gone more smoothly. You didn't have to lug it to the airport. And... Mm -hmm. So I can't recommend that highly enough. I know people have had, you know, things happen. Things happen. But yeah. I, I couldn't recommend this more highly to people. Yeah. It was so good. Um, another thing we tried for the first time was front of the park delivery. We tried. So at Epcot, we in the festival center, we got, he got a hat. And then we got a little figment mug. And again, all of this you can see in our um, hall. Um... Was that it? I think that was it. But we didn't really want to lug it around. Plus, more importantly, we wanted to try front of the park delivery. Yeah. <laughs> so we had them, we just filled out a slip of paper and they gave it to us. And it was, I think it was three hours minimum they wanted you to give before you tried to pick it up. Something like that. Something like that. So you give them some time. But we waited till the very, like, late in the afternoon yeah, when we left right to pick it left. up. And, and there was no one, there was. The, no one at the window. Guest services. So that was fine. It was perfect. Oop. Again, yeah, that works great. Yeah, super easy. We gave them the tag. They gave us our stuff. So that's good to know, especially if you buy something bigger or breakable yeah. and you just don't want to have to lug it around with you. Or if you don't bring a park bag yeah. and you don't want to have to lug it. Um, the buses we talked about a little bit. Overall, it's a decent system. Yeah. It's nice to be able to not have a car and not have to worry about parking and all that. But there are some challenges. And I would say there's more, obviously there's more challenges with the, uh, value resort yes mm -hmm. because there's a lot more people yeah like you get in line at art of animation or whatever and there's the four bus stops are all you know in line and there's mm -hmm. people jam-packed and all of them usually mm -hmm. going to the parks mm -hmm. but when like for instance we rode one from was it the yacht club yeah we rode that to where we go disney springs or um, somewhere. We, we went from or, the grand floridian oh yeah to disney springs yeah and there was nobody there no. They don't even have... They, they don't, don't have separate stops yeah, for each of the parks. For the deluxe ones, they don't have... Yeah, they have just one area. Of some, because there's some never benches. a huge group of people waiting. It was like that at Wilderness Lodge, mm -hmm. where it was just kind of... You're just waiting there. We took one from Wilderness Lodge to Animal Kingdom, yep. and that was fine, too. But the one from... Oh, uh, we hit the 29-minute mark. We talked too long. <laughs> cut off. we got to make this two videos. It cut us off. Um, no, we had the bus ride from there. It was not dark. And there was a handful of people on it. Mm -hmm. So that was a good experience. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, so. It'll be interesting to see what our trip report from our old Key West stay in yeah. October is like for that. But overall, I would call them a mostly positive yeah. experience. Yeah, it was a nice way to get around. It's we nice, convenient. And the next two things on the list of first, so lift, which we talked about a little bit. Yep. If the buses are a pain in the butt and you have budgeted in for lift, it's about 10 bucks, no matter where yeah. you're going. And, it's uh, pretty much 10 bucks. Never for newbies, we had never done a Lyft or Uber before. Anywhere. Not, so, at, home, not at home either. Yeah. And I, one morning, you weren't feeling great, mm -hmm. so you wanted some stuff from Target mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time we tried it. I downloaded the app. Uh, easy to use. Mm -hmm. Find a guy. Took me to Target and ba and took another guy back. And if I remember correctly, the first one was free, first right? first one I had discount on, so mm -hmm. it was like or a $3 discount, tip yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's great. You can you, it tells you how much it's going to cost, mm -hmm. how long it should take, who's coming, what car to look for. Yeah, it was super easy. It's e user friendly. Super easy. And then you tip right on the app, if you like the service. So you yep. don't have to give them any money at all. It's all over the app. If no one, if you haven't used it before, it was so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I we liked downloaded it. Downloaded it and used it, and boom. It was, there was, I mean, there there were a couple of times when it was. And then we used it a couple more times. Yeah, there were a couple times when it was, like, we were at Hollywood Studios on our last day, and it was so hot, yeah. and we just were done. We just couldn't, we couldn't stay anymore. It, we wanted to go to the hot club <laughs> and sit in the lobby, so we grabbed a lift from there. Oh, it, yeah, we didn't have moment, least favorite moment. That was my least favorite moment. 
Yeah, we did least favorite moment. Did we do? Mm -hmm. What did I oh, say? We did not do no, our didn't. least favorite moment. Okay, break real the, quick while we do our least favorite moment. That was the, <laughs> my least favorite moment was the heat at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, that was high up. Oh. My least favorite moment was Saturday morning and that's just because I was feeling rough. Oh, yeah. I was feeling really, really rough. Um, it's a TMI situation, so I'm not going to tell you what. <laughs> you should insert the picture at the I will poly. insert the picture here of me at the poly. <laughs> it's embarrassing and everything, but, and I will just say I was feeling rough and there were digestive issues. So uh, it just wasn't, it, yeah. it was a bummer to be at someplace as amazing as the poly and feel that way. Oh. But okay. So then in conjunction with the lift, we did one time get a minivan. Yes. It's $25, so I wouldn't recommend it all the time. So most of the lifts were about 10 or a little mm -hmm. more with tip, mm -hmm. depending a on A minivan is went. $25 no matter where you go yeah. on Disney property, even if you only go three feet. It just is. But the driver was super friendly. Oh, awesome. Talked about awesome. Did, knowledgeable about Disney. Mm -hmm. It was super cool. He added the air cranked in there. Yep. I'll throw a picture of that in here too. I do have a picture of the minivan. It's just a red van with white polka dots. It's super cute. It just Number was 42. fun. Number 42. It just was a fun experience. Yeah. It works exactly the same as Lyft. Um, but yeah, it was a fun experience. Flower and Garden Festival. We had never done that before. Nope. It was it was fun. I liked it, yeah. It was yeah. beautiful. Oh, yeah. Epcot Some of the shots just, around the monorail and the lake there oh, with the flowers. Just gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. with the flowers. So pretty. Um, we're not super adventurous food people. No. Nope. So we didn't eat a ton. But we tried some things on the strip. We tried a few cronut. things. Mm -hmm. The violet, violet lemonade. Violet lemonade. Everybody... Yeah. What happened with the violet lemonade? I was just gonna eat the edible flower, but <laughs> someone grabbed it and <laughs> threw it on the floor. Before he on the ground. <laughs> and we got our orange bird. It, it was, it, I liked it. Yeah. It was enjoyable. It was we good. got some merchandise. It was fun. Oh, we also got our um, pass holder magic band sliders, oh. which they were out of when we first became pass holders. So we were super happy yeah. to be able to get those in mouse gear. We got them at the same time we got our Pass holder magnets. Yeah. So, and then after hours, we've already talked a lot about this, but yeah. uh, do it. I mean, do it. Yeah, if, if you, you can, can afford, afford it, it yeah. do it. It is basically the cost of a park ticket. So, I almost would say, especially if you're one of those people who finds Animal Kingdom to be a half day park, which I don't necessarily yeah. go that far, but if you are, this might almost be more worth it than a full park ticket. Yeah. I mean, the only exception the being, yeah, Africa is completely closed. The, the Maharaja Jungle Truck is closed. Um, Cali River Rapids is closed. Yeah. So but there's like no said, animals. I mean, we, it was a walk on and around the line on to Everest. Mm -hmm. but it was just, the just we rode walk. Everest four times, I think, before the park even had technically closed. Yeah, it was a low, the first time it was like a 20 minute wait. Mm -hmm. But then after that, it dwindled so fast. Mm -hmm. And, and by the end of the night, on, yeah. you were just running up and get, people were actually waiting in line to get the back or the front. Yeah. But if you wanted to get in the middle, you just got right on. Yeah. It was fantastic. And the same thing with Dinosaur. Mm -hmm. You walked in, got on. Mm -hmm. nobody and they would have let us stay on. Yeah. That but one, anybody yeah. who's ridden Dinosaur knows it's kind of hard to ride yeah. that we rode, too many times. We rode it twice. Navi River. We rode Navi River, which a is a ride that I won't wait in line for because it's too short. Yeah, it's beautiful. That was a walk on. Yep. And, and then flight of passage. passage was 30 minutes, yeah. which is very low, but still when you're only there three hours, that takes a chunk. I would time. say if, if you're going solely for the purpose of being able to ride flight of passage a bunch of times, mm, it's probably not worth the money because you'll probably only get on it three, maybe four times. Yeah. Even if you just go. Because the pre-show is long mm -hmm. and whatever. And that was the thing about Dinosaur. They, you didn't they have, have to a pre-show the pre -show. there. They had it going so you could stop mm -hmm. and watch it, but they had the doors open. You so didn't you just, have to. You didn't have to. And you did have to watch the Flight of Passage yeah. pre-show. So, yeah. For every, if we were to do the Animal Kingdom one again, I think I would go, what we did was we went into the park a little bit before the After Hours party. I think I would do that again and spend that whole time in Pandora, maybe even have a Flight of Passage Fast Pass booked. And then once the party starts, out of yeah, Pandora. That, yeah. It was for all you could do carry free pop water mickey premium bars those like strawberry ice cream bars mickey ice cream sandwiches popcorn and popcorn yeah literally all you could eat we went up the one time and i ordered my stuff and he ordered a couple things and she was like is that all yeah. <laughs> so and we did bring a couple of bottles of pop back to our room but um note we lost one yeah don't one. don't 
take the pop with you on Everest and then try to drink it the same night. <laughs> I had a Lots bottle of Sprite up. and I had it in my bag when we went on Everest and I tried to open it right when we got back to the resort that night and half the bottle was gone sprayed all over the room. Anyway, totally recommend the after hours. Um, I, way more worth it than the parties, in my opinion. Than the Christmas or oh, Halloween yeah. parties. Yeah, Far the last fewer Christmas people. party was pretty jam-packed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, okay, so now we've got some... Well, wait, there's food, but let me skip that for a minute. So the kiss goodnight. Yep. Awesome. That was great. There's really not that much to say about it. It's just the castle lights up different colors. They kind of have... Um, Mickey talks to you. Mickey says goodnight. It's, it's, it's really cute. And you just find a bench at the end of the night and just sit there. Yeah. That was the, the first closes. time we watched the opening show. Yep. And we stayed till the kiss goodnight. Yep. It was great. Mousekeeping was the first for us on this trip. Again, fantastic. We don't have much bad to say about this trip. No, we left a um, little tip in an envelope. Yep, I just got envelopes yep. with stickers on it that said, thank you, mousekeeping, based on other people's ideas. Yep. And we put five bucks in each one. I think we might have put 10 in a couple, and then we put, I think, 20 in the last one at the end of the week. I think there were 10. I don't know if we put that much. Maybe it was just five, and we did 10 at the end of the week. Yeah. I can't remember. The oh. one at the end of the week had a little more in it. But they, we had this. I'm looking because they're over here. We have a plush Mickey and Minnie, just some that we got at Kohl's, that we brought with us just to set out on the bed just to see what would happen. And at least three or four times. One time they were they had the TV on with the remotes in their laps. So they watched <laughs> yep. the TV. Another time they were sitting in the windowsill looking out at the lake. Yeah. yeah. So cute. Like times, yeah. Mickey with Minnie like sitting in front of him, almost like he would have had his arms around her. Yeah. Looking out at the lake. And there was one other one too that uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank so on. They but did, did stuff with them. It was fun. Did. It was really, it was cute. And they did a really good job. And we came, again, watch our haul video. We came home with so many yeah, toiletries. We got toiletries every day. So we have, mm -hmm. we have H2O piles stuff. of the H2O stuff, which is amazing. Um, we did a DVC room tour. Yep. So we were sitting at Wilderness Lodge. And um, this is in our vlogs too. Um, this guy just came up and asked if we were there for the tour. I think first he was asking if we were there for it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. He, what ended up happening was he had one family, and I got the feeling he didn't really want to do a tour with just one family, because yeah. that's kind of awkward. So he let us come with, even though he couldn't technically sell us anything, because it wasn't an official, like we weren't going to the official yeah. meeting. But we got to see the huge cabin, the Copper Creek Cabin. Yeah, which were awesome. Oh, just gorgeous and massive. And then we also got to see one of the, was it Boulder Ridge? Kind of a studio room. One of the Boulder Ridge. It was it was either a studio or a one bedroom, but yeah. really nice. It was oh, just kind of fun to get to poke around and look at yeah. it. So we did do that. Um, okay, so then we have one ride and the rest is food. The ride that was the first on this trip was Splash Mountain, which I already put that in my favorites. Yep. It was, was fantastic. Great. Yeah, that was really good. It was so much fun. And we're not water ride people. We kept hearing about but, it, but... Mm -hmm. it, it actually turned out good because it was raining at Magic Kingdom that day. So we were wearing raincoats anyway. Well, yeah. Or like jackets. Yeah. So we were good. So food, we tried beaches and cream. That was good. Amazing. Great, yeah. Delicious. It's closed right now. So sorry yeah, for anybody good. who's going there. It's being refurbed. But um, yeah, our waitress was amazing. She was good. Yeah. That's super not politically correct. Our server <laughs> was amazing. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. Um, and then we did Chicken Guy, which was on your favorite. Yep, that was good. Awesome. I mean, it's just chicken tenders, but yeah. oh, and the sauces that come with them, and mm, so good. Gasparillas at the Grand Floridian, which was oh, yeah. fine. Yeah, it was a quick We had macaroni and fine. cheese and a cupcake. It was fine. Um, we did Pecos Bill, which was my favorite. Funny, though, because we went in there. Excuse me. We went in there early in the morning, and it was dead. No, and an hour it later, open. It, open. it wasn't open, but it was like five minutes from open yeah it was no not a soul in there no and so Big huge rooms and, yeah so and we, we come back an hour later about an hour later we're gonna eat lunch and there's no place to sit we had to go all the way around the back to tortuga tavern to find a place to sit yeah but the food was really really good I you had, had a burger, had burger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. i had nachos but really good um and then we had a meal at liberty tree tavern that was, that was the good. first so delicious my, our only complaint, and I think we agreed, yep. was it was very rushed. Yeah. Um, the server never really asked us if we wanted seconds of things. 
and it just felt very like, much like yeah it didn't give us a chance to look at no we never got to look at the menu hardly. even though it's a prefix yeah, meal but there was like drinks or specialty drinks mm -hmm. you could order we didn't have any time to look at any of that so like, boom, boom, boom. it also was over a hundred dollars for two of us yeah so i mean weigh your options yeah. when you want to go but the I mean, food we were totally stuffed afterwards yeah. so it's thanksgiving dinner basically yeah. and the food was amazing it's all you care to enjoy it's turkey, turkey pork beef pot roast or something yeah turkey pork and pot roast there's mashed potatoes stuffing mac mac macaroni and cheese green beans I think. green beans three huge desserts bread and yeah. butter it, it, it was, was delicious yeah. um we went to the kringla oh whatever mm -hmm. it's called bakery in norway for the first time um troll horn we had troll horn and, and a chocolate something <laughs> i think it was a chocolate kringla i think it was called oh, yeah. the chocolate kringla yeah that was good yep that was super oh, super good oh, sorry. um and then we went to satuli canteen that was our first time there and mobile ordered mobile ordered and got i a got kids meal. a cheeseburger pod because it was on the kids meal they took them off the adult meals but you can get we both got kids meals yeah. which tip when you're at disney get a kid's meal sometimes because there's more than enough food yeah we got chips the cheeseburger pods absolutely do taste exactly like a mcdonald's cheeseburger like everyone says it was delicious i think you got a like quesadilla a of some sort or, yeah. mm -hmm. so that was fun that was good um and then the other our very last first was geyser point and that was great it was amazing perfect weather yeah. perfect time yeah sitting looking quiet. out at the lake oh it was yeah. just amazing good food yeah food was good the server was good yeah i mean really to sum it up this was a great it was a good trip, trip. Yeah. everything went exactly according to plan yeah, i mean all we the didn't new things went great the only unfortunate part from my standpoint was my not feeling super great yeah the last the very last day and because we're minnesotans we i mean we're used to the heat it's mm -hmm. you know it's 85 here today yeah. and humid but yeah. <laughs> it was hot on that last Hollywood it Studios was day, it which was cut it short. Mm -hmm. We didn't even ride Tower of Terror. No, <gasps> we had a Tower of Terror fast uh -huh. pass and we couldn't do it. We did Slinky Dog bad. and then we had to leave. Yeah, so that was too bad. Mm -hmm. That was the only bummer. Mm -hmm. We'll be better prepared for that this next time, I think. Um, coming off of summer, for one. Coming off of summer for sure, and then I don't know if it'll be as hot in October, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get more like the wet, the cooling towels yeah. and the the fan and all that kind of stuff, and have more of that with us, I think. Um, just to be a little better prepared for that. But overall, I'd give this trip an A++. That was good. Mm -hmm. It was super awesome. Now we just have to wait 112, 13, 4, 114 days oh. until we go back. You're thinking your poor sad people. Probably. I know, right? Do you feel sorry for us? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening to our little trip report. I hope it was some informative information for anybody who hasn't tried some of this stuff before um and yeah that's it for this disney trip these vlogs are closed out the next thing you'll see regarding a disney trip will probably be a packing video for october bye, bye.